Welcome to this guided meditation for navigating your emotions. Take a moment to get nice and comfortable, and when you are ready, gently close your eyes. Let's begin as we usually do with a little bit of box breathing. Breathing in through the nose to a count of four. And pause for four. Breathe out of the mouth for four. Again, pause for four. And repeat. And as always, all we are doing at the moment is calmly observing the breath flowing gently through the body, beginning our session with just a little bit of mindful breathing before we continue. And let's remind ourselves that no matter what has been going on, or no matter what we might be doing later, in the here and now, the only thing that matters and the only thing that we must do is just calmly observe the breath. Letting go of all else. Just allowing the breath to lead the mind to a place of calmness. Yes, from time to time your mind might wander, and perhaps you might get lost in thoughts. That's normal, that's natural, that's nothing to worry about. Be a friend to your mind, and when your mind gets lost, gently lead your mind back to your breath. beginning to notice now a little bit of peaceful energy that is growing within us. Observe and you will see within yourself there is a place of quiet, a place of empty, silent, peaceful energy. And we'll allow the mind to rest there. The mind is just floating in that place of open, empty energy within. And we are becoming calm and tranquil. And with this newfound calmness, we can begin to work with our emotions. Notice the emotion that you are feeling in the here and now. And just gently label that emotion to yourself. If you were to describe that emotion with one word, what would it be? Now let's begin to investigate that emotion a little bit. Observe your emotion as though looking on from slightly outside of yourself. And with a curious mind, begin to describe to yourself what that emotion feels like. I will give you a couple of examples to illustrate the process. And so let us say that I am feeling a little bit stressed. 
I'm going to allow myself to take a step back from that emotion and observe it and then describe it. With stress, perhaps we might describe it by saying, I'm feeling a tightness in my chest and I feel heavy. And so we're just describing it in that sort of way. Or perhaps you're feeling a little bit down and sad. In which case again, take a step back away from the emotion. And begin to describe it to yourself. And with sadness you might say, I feel damp. This warm, damp energy. And so, we are looking at the properties, the sensations, the type of energy that is involved with the emotion that we are experiencing. And then we're just describing that to ourselves. As you describe the emotion to yourself, you might notice two things. Firstly, from time to time, perhaps your mind gets caught up in the emotion. If that happens, just return to your breath. Take a deep, calming breath and observe the flow of the breath through your body and allow that soothing breath to cleanse your mind. You might also notice that when you describe your emotion, it makes it a bit more tangible. You're becoming aware of the physical properties of the emotion. And because of that, it's, some, it's becoming something a bit more real, a bit more tangible and something that you have a bit more control over, and that is very beneficial. And so let's recap to now. What we are doing is observing the breath. We're allowing the breath to calm the mind and to make us a bit more aware of our emotions. And indeed, mindful breathing in that way has been shown to improve our emotional awareness. With that increased awareness, we're then beginning to describe how the emotion feels, its physical properties, what type of energy it is, just describing that to yourself. And that's making the emotion a bit more tangible, something a bit more real and less elusive so that you have more control over it. And so I'll be silent for a moment to allow you to do that. It is the nature of our emotions that they are deceptive and they skew our view of the world a bit. When we are down, we tend to see the negative and when we are anxious, we tend to see the world as a place full of threats and when we are happy, we tend to see all the good in the world. Emotions are inherently deceptive, but we can bring them into balance, and that is what we are going to do now. For now, continue to observe your breath and enjoy that calm, 
and clear mind, enjoying that spaciousness within, that silent, empty energy that feels oh so peaceful. Just allow yourself to enjoy that for a moment. Now recall the name that you gave to your emotion. Perhaps it was happiness or joy or anger or sadness. Whatever it is, think of the opposite of that emotion. For instance, if your emotion is anger, then you're thinking of calm. Or if your emotion is sadness, then you're thinking of happiness. And so, all we are doing is thinking of the opposite emotion to the one that we were feeling. Now I want you to think of one time in your life when you felt that emotion strongly. For example, if your emotion was sadness, the opposite is happiness, and you are now thinking of a time in your life when you felt very happy. Or, if your emotion was anger, then you're thinking calmness, and you're bringing to mind a memory in which you felt very calm. And just allow yourself to bring that memory to mind and see it before you now. So you're visualizing this moment in which you felt this emotion. Begin to be curious about the quality of that emotion. What was the energy of that emotion at that time? In this memory that you are thinking of, when you felt that emotion, how did it manifest? What type of energy was there? What did it feel like to experience that emotion? And just allow yourself to experience that moment now Notice how that emotion begins to exist in this present moment. By bringing to mind the memory of a time you felt that way, you are now beginning to feel that way in the here and now. This is balancing your emotions. To recap, we began this meditation with mindful breathing just to calm and to clear the mind. Then, as we do in Vipassana, we investigated the nature of that emotion. We described it to ourselves. That made the motion more tangible, something that we could work with. We then brought to mind the opposite of that emotion. For instance, sadness became happiness. We brought to mind a time in life when we felt that way, and in doing so, we cultivated that emotion in the here and now. And that balances us out, such that when we were feeling angry, we then experienced calmness, and between our anger and our calmness, we ended up somewhere in the middle. And that is our guided meditation for navigating emotions. I hope you have enjoyed this meditation session. Please leave a comment so that I know how your experience with this meditation was, whether you enjoyed it or whether I should do something a little bit different next time. And if you enjoyed it, please do remember to like and to subscribe. Thank you, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.